sit in my chair and boom, 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 boom shots fired. Uh, I see my sister-in-law pulling kids down on the ground. I'm trying to get to my son's stroller so that I can pull him down. But when I, I tried to take a step, I don't even remember exactly standing up, getting up. I just know I tried to take a step and I couldn't. So at that point, I was just like, I just started crawling. The time I went in the hospital, to him, to me coming home, he just would see me and it was like, I don't know, if, I don't know what was going through his head. He just wouldn't, and he is my child that tells me he loves me a hundred times a day and hugs me a hundred times a day and say, mama, you need anything more than a hundred times a day. But he just wouldn't, so I don't know what was going on in his head. But after yesterday, him, you know, us all getting together with the football team again and talking and stuff, he finally came. I was getting ready to leave, and I was getting in the car, and he came, and he gave me the biggest hug and kiss. And so that was a joy for me because I didn't know what was going on with my son because he was different. That wasn't him. So I'm able to look up at the angle, and I see the guy in the red hoodie on top of the hill. And I'm seeing him shoot down on towards my bleachers and stands where my parents are. A bullet that big or the size that the bullet was, I just don't feel like any kid could have survived that bullet. We don't know, you know, we can't say they couldn't have because only God knows, but it, I took it and I'm okay with that. I've been at a loss for words since it happened because I never expected in 11 years of me doing this, 15 years coaching Pee Wee football, but 11 years with the Longhorns, so somebody would bring a, a gun to a kid's game and then not only just bring it, but you'll use it. And then you point it in the direction where kids are at. You know, to me, that's, it almost made me hang it up. You know, we, it's hard for us to know 180 parents in our association when we're dealing with 180 kids. You don't know who is who. You don't know what, who, who's capable of doing anything. I'm personally going to return to a football game because I have had yesterday a lot of the babies say well are you coming to the next football game so yes i'm gonna show them my strength so that it can give them strength showing up last night seeing them kids again that energy the words we couldn't let them win